Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm doing another sticker dashboard um, for the um, stationery stockpile challenge that myself and Ellie host every month. Um, so this month's theme for March is character stickers, which of course I have a ton of, so I'm really excited to um, use them. And I have got like a piece of acetate as well as like the paper that comes as a backing for um, this printable acetate just because I thought if I end up having more stickers um, I can make two and by the way <laughs> if you're wondering why I've got like nail polish just on one nail I'm actually like um, trying out these new nail wraps um, I just picked these up off like a shop on Etsy and they're like I think they're already like it's nail polish but on a wrap and so you just like press that on your nail and you cut off the excess and then so I'm just she sent like a free pack as a sample to see um for you to test out so I'm just seeing how long it lasts before committing to using um these very very pretty um marbly ones um so yeah sorry about my random thumb there um i am going normally i use my sticker books to go through my stickers but i decided to bring out like my accordion so i have shown this on um a couple of like videos previously but if you haven't seen it this is where all my stickers go so this i just picked up from amazon i think it's even linked in my amazon store when i purchase stickers i like we'll put a, some some of them will go in my sticker book like the whole pack will go in my sticker book like you know if it's like here i've just put the whole thing um other times i will pick out a few of the stickers and put it on like a blank sticker page and then put it in here um, and that just gives me like you know the ability to have a variety of stickers rather than having like you know i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine to, like ten different sticker sheets i don't need full packs of them um so yeah and they're basically once i've put a few of the stickers in here the rest of them are filed away in here and i will just refill my sticker book as and when necessary so they are all tabbed and they've got like um very old <laughs> like stickers on them but by alphabetical order and category um so yeah i'm gonna just be pulling out and i think i will just go alphabetically and pick out some stickers um to use and like i said i might end up doing two let's see um so yeah let's get started so the very first section i have is like baking and cooking and I might not have a ton of character stickers per se because I think a lot of these are just like um oh here's one um yeah a lot of these are just like icon stickers um there we go I think I will just um yeah that's that character I guess that's the character sticker yeah That's a cute one as well from Keen Prince. But I actually use a lot of these in my planner, so I'm not going to use that. I'll probably use an ice cream one, um, one of these. So yeah, I do have a lot of like <laughs> a lot of character stickers in general. Um, you'll see that as I go through my planner. Um, so these are ones that I might not necessarily use, you know in my planner as much or some of them will just be because you know they're kind of like my um ones that i like um so yeah i'm basically just going to go through my um section by section and start adding um stickers obviously the difficulty with doing it this way is that i don't want to end up with like all my baking and eating ones in one section so i'm going to try and spread them out a little bit and then if i need to move things around i will um, but i don't want all my like cooking and eating ones all in one um space and actually 
I just realized that, oops, just dropped something. What I probably could do is go through all my stickers and just stick them, stick the ones that I want to use on some of these like old leftover sticker paper. And that way um, I can just be pulling from these because I think if I start randomly placing stickers down on here, I'm going to end up having um, difficulty spacing them out. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go through them all and pull out ones that I want to use onto these sticker sheets first. So I think I clearly underestimated how many character stickers I have because these are just... Um, I'd say these are most, but not definitely not all the ones that I have. Um, so yeah, I think I definitely have enough for at least two. And then whatever's left over, I will just put back. I'm not going to probably not going to do a second one. But it was fun to go back and look through them because um, some of these like um, I bought like years ago from these are from Kina Prints that I probably won't use anywhere else anyway. So fun 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 um so yeah i'm gonna just switch over to a voiceover so that i can start laying these down and i will um be back to show you guys the final result so i did ask on instagram if you guys had any questions for a plan with me video but i think because i've already received more questions than i'll be able to answer in just one video i thought i would tackle a few of them on here um, so there's a couple of questions, like one about like where I met my husband and another one about my parents approving of him. So we met at the temple, we're both Hare Krishnas. Um, and when we got together, my parents were not happy that I was marrying somebody who's not an Indian. And so they didn't come to our wedding. Um, but now they definitely like love him. My mum especially like just really adores him. Um, I think over the years, like definitely after my daughter was born, um, but since then even, he's kind of shown them that he, even though he might be, you know, like white, he shares a lot of the same principles and morals and values that they do. Um, you know, like in our culture, we don't eat meat or drink alcohol. Um, you know, we don't like have, I guess, like traditionally Indian people don't get divorced. Um, so as a Hare Krishna, we also don't do <laughs> those things. And so they realize that, um, yeah, even though he's a, he's like a white person or what like they would say, like a Western person, he shares a lot of the values um, that Indians do. And also he's a great husband and a great dad. Um, so yeah they absolutely adore him now and of course it was very very difficult in the beginning for both of us I think he obviously felt very hurt and rejected and I felt very sad that they didn't come um I don't know if they regret I think they definitely do regret not coming but they are very um I don't know what the word is but I just don't think they would ever admit it because to admit that then would to to be would be to admit that they were wrong um, I think the way they see it is like, I should have just waited and given them time to come round to, you know, like getting to know him. And, but at the time I could just see that they were not interested and no matter how much he proved himself, himself to them at the time, they just were not interested in, you know, they would never have approved. Um, so we just went ahead and got married anyway. Um, but yeah, I think definitely my mom has made a comment like, you know, I should have, waited and given them time to come around to it but me and my husband were together for like two years before we actually got married um but yeah everything's kind of it's it's so weird because it almost feels like that's a, just such a different part of my life now because it's as if that never happened um because they just yeah they just love him so much now um the other question was about India and why, like I've mentioned before that my husband takes the kids to India and I don't go. Um, it's a lot of different reasons, mostly because of the heat. I can't really tolerate high temperatures at all. 
um, I don't like like mosquitoes um, but also when I was eight years old we went like on a family holiday to India and my parents were convinced by a family member that they should enroll me in an like an international boarding school which they did so they kind of left me in India for about three and a half to four years um, and I think it has definitely traumatized me because I was in a country that was very unfamiliar to me like the language the people the culture the climate um, and so even though I did do a lot of traveling in my kind of like early 20s in India I definitely there's definitely like a hesitancy in going back there um, and it does bring up I think for me <laughs> a lot of um, a lot of that trauma, I guess, of being left in a foreign country as a child. Um, even though I understand that my parents thought they were doing it, you know, for, like, my education and to give me, like, a great start in life and all that. Um, but, yeah, that's why I don't really go. I think um, I've only been once, no, twice, I think, in the last ten years. But my kids absolutely love it there. Um, my husband loves it there. And it kind of works out because I get then, like, a break. Um, because we do homeschool full time, so I get like a little teacher's holiday for three weeks while they're gone. Um, and they didn't go last year, obviously, because of the pandemic, so I'm really hoping <laughs> they'll be allowed to go this year. Okay, so I am all done. Um, I did manage to use pretty much most, like most of the stickers. These random ones I will just put back. And I ended up, um, yeah doing two full sheets it was a little bit difficult spacing especially this one i was having difficulty um spacing them out um but yeah love them um i think this will be really fun to look back on in a couple of years when i probably won't have you know the same kind of character stickers anymore um, and it'll be nice to look back on what i did have um and i managed to use up some of these like big ones that i don't like I wouldn't normally use in my planner itself so yeah they will just be tipped in to my Stalogy at some point I will just show you quickly what they look like so I will leave a link for like how I tip things in with clear tape if you haven't seen that already and so that's that one and then this is the one that I did on the paper so thank you so much for watching guys um again you know if you are taking part please 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 tag or like use the hashtag actually so that we can find you guys and um check out all of your creations um this month's theme like character stickers was um so fun and so cute um so yeah thank you for watching guys i will see you next time bye